This morning, we are seeing stunning images of unrest coming out of China that have not been seen for decades. Countless videos are coming out showing a crackdown by government police forces. This video was taken in Shanghai yesterday, showing police dragging protesters away, many angered the, by the government's zero COVID policy. Tom Dempsey is standing by for us with the latest on these protests this morning. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, but yeah, this morning, the government in China continues to brace for more possible protests across the country with people, you know, really fed up with very strict COVID restrictions currently in place across the country. These pictures and these videos we're seeing of these protests and gatherings mark some of the biggest opposition we've seen come out of China in decades. Now, over the weekend in places like Shanghai and Beijing, we saw very big protests and gatherings, all to oppose the country strict zero COVID policies, which isolate every infected person, sometimes for months with limited access to food and medicine. The protests include calls for the Chinese president to step down, and they come after a deadly fire just days ago that killed at least 10 people inside an apartment building. Protesters believe firefighters and people living inside may have been blocked by locked doors and other barriers. Some of the protests, though, brought scenes of chaos with police using pepper spray to break up crowds and the Chinese government censoring some videos being posted. In response to all this, Amnesty International posted a statement to Twitter saying Chinese leaders should listen to the protesters' calls and let them gather peacefully without fear of retaliation. We also know, you know, as far as life in China today, we do know public transportation as well as businesses will be reopening uh, in areas that are seeing low transmissions of COVID right now. As of this morning, the Chinese government has yet to respond to these big protests we're seeing, Mitch. Well, that was going to be my next question, Tom. How has the U.S. government responded to these protests? But I guess the answer is they uh, haven't had much of a response. Well, no, we were talking about the Chinese government. Oh, we haven't my seen mistake. the Chinese my president. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, of course, a lot of uh, things to keep track of with all this. The Chinese government has not responded. You know, there's calls for the Chinese president to step down, which is very big for these protesters to come out on the street and uh, say that sort of thing in a country like China. But here in the U.S., uh, it's important to know Dr. Ashish Jha, who is the uh, head of the White House COVID response team, you know, uh, he addressed these uh, protests we're seeing in China on Sunday morning talk shows. At least one of them, he said that uh, the zero uh, COVID policy uh, in China is unrealistic and the bigger focus, the great focus right now for containing COVID should be on people getting vaccinated. That was according to the White House COVID response coordinator, Mitch. I think I have heard that somewhere before. We got some incredible videos coming out of China this morning, Tom. Thank you for that. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact based, unbiased coverage.